Are you a content creator? Do you have a YouTube channel? Want to monetize, promote, and protect your channel from intellectual property theft? At Aforevo, we will monetize, optimize, and protect your channel, helping you earn better. We also offer you professional content management support guidance. Join our network today and enjoy our premium benefits. Contact us at mcnataforevo.com. A woman, many believe, is the most fascinating creature on planet Earth. Her emotions, thoughts, affiliations, and affections differ from one to the other. At 15, with her hormones raging and surging, she is adventurous. Are you looking for something? Um, yes. I was at the field yesterday and I saw you play. I just wanted to tell you you're a really good football player. At 33, however, she is dying for commitment. I am tired. Tired? Tired of your excuses for not being able to commit. For crying out loud, how long have we been dating? Um, for... Four years, seven months, three weeks. And 186 regrettable minutes. Mine is two minutes too late. Look here, baby. You know, I I perfectly understand how you feel. Okay? You've got to get one thing straight. It might be nice to hear you call me baby. I am sick and tired of sucking on your cock like a fucking beating bottle. Now listen, if you want me, like Beyonce says, put a damn ring on the finger. What a gracious world y'all live in. I can imagine a world without a creature called a man. Well, let's make a swap. Because right now I would do anything to be a fish. So, this is where our story actually begins, folks. In the bustling city of Accra, where amongst the estimated 4 million people who live here, there are six single women you must meet. The peak of the pack, the part you don't know yet. Rich. I mean, super rich. Here? You bet. Eight bedrooms, three living rooms, one up, two downstairs. Underground cellar, gym space, slight span, lobby, and a 300 species butterfly sanctuary. If you ask me, madam, this is God's own home. You sure can sell a man his casket. Does that mean you take it? Um, it means I'd like to take a tour of the building.
waiting for your order. Now turn around and walk away. I said turn around and fucking walk away. Kendra Williams, Unit Commander, Anti-Crime Division. That was close. How close? Really close. But this one here, this is what I call a killer dress. See, I've been planning weddings for the better part of six years, and I sure do know a showstopper when I see one. So, what do you say, darling? I really don't know. I wanted to wear something that is more of me. <laughs> what exactly is more of you? I still have the dress my grandmother made for my mother when she was getting married. And I've stared at it for the last 24 years, in which my mother has been happily married to my father, hoping that someday I'll walk down the aisle in it. I know it's quite old, but with a few adjustments and accessories, I can make it into my own style. No, that's so sweet, my dear. But lesson number one, style is not in the dress, but in the makeup. Chanel, outside of the renting, Louis Vuitton, Versace, Dolce & Gabbana. The bride just has to wear a dress made by somebody else but her grandmother. Zina Nana Annan, wedding planner and... See, I presume this is... Good afternoon. Get straight to the point. Who are you and how may I help you? Who am I? I'm the bitch who is pregnant for your husband. What? That's why I'm the fucking best. Serena Roland Mills, top class actress. So, you've met Yolanda, Kendra, Zila, Christine, and Serena. So, who's the sixth one? Oh, I forgot. You've already met Titania. Not to worry, she's no one but an emotionally overburdened, marriage desperate, lovesick American returnee who owns and runs a grocery store. It was not the first time this was happening. It was not the second either. 
or even the third. In actuality, crying at even the thought of a wedding had become such a piece of ritual. Why we cried, no one knew. However, and if you stick around long enough, you get to find out at the very end of this film. Now, back to the story. Tell them, Dennis. I said tell them. What the hell do you think I'm doing? How long can we hide it? How long can we conceal it? Conceal what? Oh, Seth. Let the gum do the talking. I don't know what she's talking oh, about. Yes, you know what the hell I'm talking about? Denise. She's lying. She's lying about what? Can't you see what she's about to say? And what is she about to say? Yeah, Dennis. What am I about to say? I didn't do it, Eric. You know what? Look, here is the house of God. Now you shut the fuck up. Who is talking to you? Okay. If you're too dumb to speak, I'll do the talk. Jesus. Jesus. I am carrying his baby. Now my work here is done. Sorry, pal. Because I'm also carrying his baby. Me too. Who wants me to have a portion? Traitor, loser, cheat, liar. We all had a name for him, but in truth, it wasn't really for him. Son of a bitch. It was for all, sorry, I meant for some of the men who had been in our lives. As different as our faces were, we had very similar and interesting stories. Football had always been a sport we all greatly admired. But for one of us, it wasn't just the sport that was her attraction. It was the players. As unrealistic as it sounds, Titania, and after everything she'd been through, constantly hoped, wished, longed, and dreamt about a celebrated walk down the aisle with a celebrated footballer. And so, one sunny afternoon, in a grocery shop halfway across town, Destiny smiled at her. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. I had lunch with some friends and I ate an Italian dish. Yeah? Between you and me, the food was tasteless. <laughs> really horrible. <laughs> Stop laughing. It is funny. <laughs> Stop laughing. Well, thanks, thanks Amelia. You know, you actually saved me the disgrace. I owe you one. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh. He is so handsome. Oh, he's so handsome. And you are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. It was love at first sight. And that was how the dream romance began. Titania, a grocery store owner from the backside of nowhere, had finally found herself not just having dinner with a high-profile footballer, but also riding in his car, sharing in his stardom, and of course, screaming his name. <laughs> You know, girls, Tony is such a darling. He's, he's so sweet, he's loving, he's affectionate. And he is really, really strong. Really? Now that's your friend. I take particular interest in how strong is he? You know what they say about footballers. He is really strong. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, girls. <laughs> Enough of the sex talk already. How serious is this thing, girl? Yolanda, I know you're a pessimist and everything. Given your four unsuccessful relationships, I also have mine. But for the entirety of my life, I feel like this is something that I can just hold on to. On a scale of one to ten? Nine. Point nine. Come on, ladies. He's in love with me. He is so head over heels in love with me. That is exactly the problem, Tita. Why? What do you mean, why? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. He's a celebrated world-class footballer who earns $75,000 a... Nope. $85,000 freaking dollars per week. That's plus bonuses and endorsements. Great. And you are what? A middle-class grocery store owner from... Chicago. <laughs> Doesn't exactly sound like a dream romance to me. True. True, baby. Very true. You know how much I love your grocery store, but I'm afraid it's so damn true. Look, I know I may not be the best woman for Tony, given that men have the tendency not to be trustworthy, but I love him. He loves me too. And hell, I'm taking my chance. My knight in shining armor. Hey, boo boo. <laughs> of course, I watched the match. I saw the way you dribbled those two defenders. That placement was sick. Yeah, I think we're bringing you down too much, you know. I wanted to jump into the TV and yell, Hey you people, stop putting down my man, you sucker. They were. I wasn't. But you know what they say. It takes finding love to believe in love. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now with the option 
for the last of the extinct jewelry belonging to Queen Muzamba, wife to the late Emperor Dakota of the dysfunctional state of East African Mapeta. Auction begins at $2,000. $2,500. $2,500. Can I have a three? $3,000. Can I have three five? $3,500. Can I have a four? $4,000. Four $5,000. $5,000 from the gentleman in the front row. Can I have $5,500? $6,000. Again, from $7,500. $9,000 from the lady in sweet African friends. Can I have $9,500? Going? Going. $12,000. $12,000, ladies and gentlemen, that is a record stake. Going? Going? Going and gone. I always considered vanity a worthwhile venture. But some way and somehow, I was going to have to let this one go. That was quite a show, Mr. Don't pride yourself in some victory, mister. I didn't really want that piece of jewelry or I would have pushed up a bit. Oh, I was really hoping you would. Fine. You bought it, I didn't. You know, the ancient elite of Ethiopia had a very peculiar tradition. It was customary for a maiden of marriageable age to reveal her name to any man who would bow at her feet. And in the street hoods of Ajimota, where I grew up, we also had a very peculiar tradition. It was customary for a woman to tell any man who would readily go down on his feet to go shove it up his ass. <laughs> you know, I really didn't think that such a prim and proper looking lady would be disposed to such indecent expressions. Well, forgive me, but I don't appreciate male intrusions. Can I at least get to know your name? There are 1.8 million women in Accra, mister. Go find yourself another conquest. Good morning, Antonatis. Good morning. How can I help you? And I sang here for the person. That was exactly how Hanks swept me off my feet. 
And before I knew it, and even against my own expectations, I was in love. Kendra bumped into co-detective Brad Anderson. All right. On the other hand, had a slightly different preoccupation. She was in love with a man. Who was in love with someone else? Oh shit. I completely forgot. Trust me, darling. After a night of good sex, men are bound to forget things. Okay, so how come they never seem to forget about the beautiful <laughs> woman the night? <laughs> you know how turned on I get when you do that, right? Is that a warning? Um, I say if you don't want to miss that appointment. And you don't want to put me behind court time? <laughs> I'll say yes. Well, appointment actually involves two prospective clients who need me more than I need them. Okay, okay, yeah. sweetie, sweetie, <sighs> nice move. But you know the rules. Business comes before the pleasure. Okay, doctor. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Now what? Well, uh, just in case you change your mind, um, the bathroom door is still open. My wish is a hard one, my priest. My wish is that you bind the cords of our love and fasten the fetus. Understand. On the part on which you tread, I am tread. And on the feet you graze, I will so graze. Words must never be to my ears. Never be this. Whatever you've asked for, I have given. What more could you possibly want? Place in your heart a ring on my finger. I swear by the throne of my forefathers, in a fortnight, I shall make you my bride. That's a promise. Cut! Strike set. It's a wrap. I'm sorry if I'm interrupting anything. Kwame said I could find you here. And what the hell do you want? Of course, I want to have a word with you. In private. This is so not gonna fucking happen, okay? If you have anything to say, say it here and now. And be snappy about it, I don't have all day. Has it come to this? Has it come to you humiliating me before her? Has it? First off, just in case you forgot it, I didn't invite you here. You came here of your own accord and of your own volition. Okay? And besides, I mean, I thought we have gone through this like a million times and we have sorted it out. Which part of the phrase, it is over, don't you understand, thick skull? If a guy said that to me, I would be so gone before he's done talking. Thank you. It's really fun being a new concubine, huh? Well, enjoy it while it lasts, darling.
Because someday, sometime, it's gonna be you. These tears in your eyes. <laughs> Sorry, girlfriend. That's a line. That's not in script. So if you don't mind, get the fuck out of my house. Now! Since are you telling me, Dan? What's rubbish? How on earth do you want me to raise such an amount of money in five days? Have you forgotten I've pulled almost all I have into the Trix oil deal? Did you fucking tell me that, man? Look, Dan. Get your ass sorted out and get this deal back on track. What was that all about? Hey. Don't worry, honey. It's nothing I can't handle. <laughs> Excuse me, Hex. Don't give me that male chauvinistic crap. You definitely look worried and I think I deserve to know why. Honey, you don't have to worry about me that much. I can, I can take care of myself. <laughs> How typical. Fine. I'll tell you. Dan, my business partner in Korea is trying to play smart with me. Now we have a business deal with an oil supply firm worth a whopping $2.2 million. And the initial agreement was to raise a capital base of $400,000, for which we're both expected to make available $200,000. Now I fulfilled my part of the deal by paying in the set sum into an offshore account. Only for the fool to call me a few minutes ago saying that due to peculiar circumstances, he cannot raise the balance. And that I should execute the contract alone. The problem is, I am cash strapped. Because I've pulled out the rest of my funds into another deal. I will not be able to raise that money until the first week in July. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a four-week deadline for the completion of the contract. Now I see you, Dynamo. But having said that, I don't see why you should have a migraine over it. I'll make the balance of $200,000 available to you first thing Monday morning. Hell no. What? I said hell no. I can't but, take money from you. What do you mean you can't take money from me? But you need it. Makes no difference, Yolanda. I mean, it's just not right. I am the man here. <laughs> Duh. Isn't that obvious? Oh. So this is about your ego. Your pride. You feel less than a man by owning up to your needs. <laughs> Gosh, this isn't even a need. At least not technically. It's not like that, Yolanda. I mean... Look, I really didn't want to burden you with this. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. Besides, it's just a loan. You can return the money once your deal pulls through. And... Of course, get me a nice gift as well. Besides, I thought I was going to get a kiss for this. Uh, uh. Bedroom. Okay. Hello? Tony just asked me to marry him. What? He proposed? Well, isn't that what a man does when he goes down on his knees and says, Will you marry me? He said that with tears in his eyes. Tell me, what did you say? What the fuck do you think I'd say? Tell me, you said yes! No. I said I'll be damned. And so began preparations for what was meant to be the most talked about wedding of the year. But we still had to get past the hurdle of arguing over everything. Look, 
the bridal dress, the cake, the venue, and even the flowers. But there was one thing we couldn't argue about. The fact that Titania was finally happy. But you know what they say, it is one thing to find happiness, it is another to keep it. He threw me out. So what did you do this time? Did you go get pregnant again? Hell no! I stole a 500 pound jewelry from H. Samuels. And why would you steal? Because I was bored and it's fun. Well that's a very good excuse to become a thief, don't you think? Look, I know you don't like me. But all I ask is a place to lay my head for a couple of days, and I'll be gone. Well, if you had that many options, why the hell did you come in front of my door in the first place, huh? I got it wrong again. I just thought that after second that maybe you could take some responsibility. How dare you? How dare you? Hey, handsome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so I miss you. Well, I was on my way to the mall when I decided to stop by and see how my bride is doing. Well, your bride is counting the days, the hours, the minutes to walk down the aisle with you. Pretty soon, baby. Pretty soon. <laughs> I forgot to do the necessary introduction. Bibi! I'm sure you figured out that this is Tony Apia, my fiance. Tony. This is Bibi, a relative. A relative. Wrong old girl. What were you thinking? Introducing her as a relative? And what was I supposed to do? It was the wrong place, wrong moment, wrong time. Okay, okay, I freaked out. I lost it. And it was the best I could do in the circumstance. So, are you going to tell him? Hell no. He does have a right to know. And I have the right to be happy. Look girls, this is the first time that I've I've had something that is even worth fighting for. I am not about to give that up. I told myself, I swore to myself, that I wouldn't lose it. Not even for a daughter. Tita, listen. I understand how difficult this must be for you, but don't you think you should give it a second thought? What is this to think about? What? You want me to jeopardize my chances with Tony by popping up the revelation that I have a 15-year-old daughter somewhere? Oh, I get it. You're jealous. You guys are jealous. So it's okay for you guys to be riding in the flashiest cars. Your career's on cruise control. You've got a good man in your life. But it's okay when I'm in the shithole. Grocery girl who never does well for herself. As soon as I get close to the one that makes me happy. You all think it's not good enough. Oh, come on, Titi. How could you? Oh, shut the hell up, Angelina Jolie. Shut the hell up, Commando. Life is so unfair. Look at you. Strutting yourself in town like you're some superstar actress. While my ass is stuck in the grocery store. Because I couldn't finish university. And I got pregnant when I was at a very early stage. How do you think that makes me feel? How do you think that makes me feel? How? Well, I don't care what you all say. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. I am 31 going on 32. And I am fucking desperate. I need a man. I need a man to be with. I need a man who will love me, a man I can call my own, a man to make home with. I need a man who will love me, who will spend the rest of his life with me. And until you find that man, my sisters, no matter whose bed you wake up on, every morning, and your life will be incomplete. Even if you're with a film director. Excuse me? What is happening? Oh, excuse me? Oh, the room that's an agent. Excuse me? Oh, police officer. I beg your pardon? Oh, what are you going to do? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Who's that the drug kind of bother? Is that the boss of? Really? The room was dead quiet. Titania had bared her mind, but also stirred something within us. It's a company to run. Oh, yes. Two. Oh, yes. Shut the door. <sighs> well, I've got no man, and I've had to plan every other person's wedding except for mine. Do you want something to eat? And though silence was the most logical answer. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to budget on you like this. As you know, I, I live across the street and 
I just thought a while that we get introduced. My name is Zilla. Zilla. Yeah, Z I L A. Gordon Lumpy. Nice making your acquaintance, Gordon. Same here. Well, I I you better go back and tend to my steaming pot of chicken stew, which I have unfortunately for almost all of my life. I had to eat all by myself. All by yourself? I wouldn't mind being invited over, you know. You wouldn't mind eating a stranger's food. No, not at all. Not when I am this hungry. No, not at all. Well, if you're this hungry, I you're welcome to share a table with me. Thank you. Pleasure is mine. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Yes, it was just the kind of response she had wished for. <sighs> However, it wasn't the kind of lunch she had anticipated. my fiance, Gloria. Now don't say I told you, but the fact is, she can't even cook to save her own life. And when I told her a kind of hearted neighbor had invited me over for lunch, guess what she said? I want to come along. <laughs> <laughs> It's the science of life, folks. When one door shuts, another opens. Welcome back. Thank you. My father called. He wants me back in London. He said he was sorry. Why am I not surprised? His pitiable self is sorry about everything. Well, it's so much better to be sorry than bitter. You know, I've had a very bad day. And the least I'm in the mood for is your impudence and your insolence. But, be it as it may, I'll have you know that I was bitter until you showed up on my doorstep. 
In fact, I was pretty happy. I was striking on the happiness lane until you popped up and burst my bubble. And you know what? I'd be happy if you just did not exist. You know, I've always thought that the day will come that you will look at me and see anything but gone. But I guess that's a lie I have continuously forced myself to believe. You know, I was only waiting for you to get back before I left. Now if you could please give me the money for my plane ticket, I can pretend that I have a mother. You know what? I'll give you more than you asked. I'll, hell, I'll give everything I need this week. This month. Just take it. I'll take it. Take it! And swear to me that you will never appear on my doorstep ever again. I can easily swear my life, mother. I could easily swear that in sickness, that in health, or in death, that you will never see me again. But I won't. And you know why? Because no matter how hearty the arms of a mother is, it is the safest place in the world. Why can't you love me? Why is it so hard for you to accept me? Why? I cry over you, yes, all I am nothing to say. So, at the end of it all, however, while some battle to hide their tears. Others lie awake, staring into their lover's eyes. Counting the ceiling boards. Drinking themselves to a stupor. Watching a boring movie or gratifying sexual urges. Hi, so tell me for exactly how long will you be out of town this time? Um, give or take, let's say two weeks. What? Two weeks? That's like 14 days shot of the month of February, Quincy. I know. But I'm not God. Look, I don't control the universe. There could be unforeseen circumstances. Changes in logistics and operational modalities. What do I do? And what am I supposed to do? I'll be off shift next week. And I was actually thinking we could take time off our jockeying jobs to spend quality time with each other. Quality time? Why do you make it sound as if we don't spend time together? Of course we do. We have eat our dinners, occasional sleepovers at your place, my place. And <laughs> yes, thanks to Jody, good morning quickest on days which your appointments of no extreme importance. You trying to say something to me? Yes, yes, and yes. You know I got you from the street. I snapped. Sweetie, the feeling is right. That sex is absolutely great. I just, I don't know, I just think there's something missing in this relationship. Look, the only thing that will be missing is passing to 27 and C3B if I don't get my ass to the airport right now. So how much more do you need? 
Okay, I'll have another hundred thousand transferred into your account. Now, does that settle this? Well, remember you owe me dinner. 7 p.m. I'll be there. Mm. Me too. I love you too. Mm -hmm. Bye. you're trying to cook. Can I help with anything? No. Bibi. You really want to help, right? Yes. Well, Tony's coming over for lunch. He'll be spending the weekend. I would like that you lock yourself up and pretend as if you don't exist. Yeah, that would be too hard for you to do, would it? I'll do whatever you want. Stop trying to make me like you. I can't and I won't. No matter how hard you try. Did you forget anything? To say. Time to say a proper goodbye. you a thousand times and I don't know his name. No, listen, bitch. I'm not a woman who likes a fish and test it, okay? Give me the fucking name. I don't know what else to tell you. Perhaps your affiliation with Fuck. Cut! Serena, what the fuck's wrong with you? Sorry, I forgot my line. The line is the affiliation with the cartel. Alright, that's the line. Got it. Alright, let's take it from I am not a woman, whatever. Roll tape, Chris. Sound. Yes, sir. And action. Now you listen, Trump. I'm not a woman who likes to test a patient. Now you tell me. Cut! No, what? You wrongly rephrased that sentence, Serena. You said, I'm not a woman who likes to test her patients. No, I did not. That is exactly what you said. And that is exactly what I heard. Excuse me? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the director. Well, you are not exactly the only one on says Serena. Now, if a superstar in you can at least get her lines, maybe you can get this thing done and over and get out of here in no time. How dare you insinuate that I can't get my lines? <laughs> Sorry, darling. But the last time I checked, this was a sis take. You do it! What the hell was that all about? What the hell was what? That total display of disgrace and shame! I beg your pardon, Win. That low life insulted me. By stating the obvious that you weren't getting your lines? Fine! I was out of sorts today. But that doesn't give a mere two zero figure artist the infantry to insult me. Me, Serena Williams! You have been out of sorts the whole bloody week! Okay, I watched the car chase scene from last weekend and you were awful. Your reactions were totally flat. I have to do a reshoot of all that again. Why? Your reactions were flat. Those reactions were not there. All right, listen, Serena. I've always been there for you. And I always will. If anything's the matter, I 
I think you should just talk to me because you know I would listen. There's nothing to be worried about, Wayne. Sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I was waiting for the right time. Right time to tell me what? Kids. I love kids. It's just that Bibi has certain circumstances surrounding her. <laughs> well, Titania, I figured that out already. Tony, you don't understand. She's like a walking disaster. Amongst all her misdemeanors, she's had two pregnancies aborted in the last three years. She can't say no to any man or boy that comes her way. Really? Well, for a girl her age, I think that's. What a worrisome trend. What about Paris? Her father's an out of job drunk. Can't even take care of himself. Talk about taking care of someone else. And her mother? Uh, my mother is dead. So where were we? So he sneaks into her house at dawn, find his way down the hallway to her bedroom. And while she's innocently asleep in bed, he bucks her twice behind her head and leaves her to bleed to death. Too smooth. Sounds like a perfect script. Like that largely depends on what you define as perfect, Kendra. I think he did it. I think he didn't. It makes no difference. I've already closed the investigation. Well, reopen it. On your call? I don't think so. You know, my instincts are never wrong, Brad. You can't always be right, Kendra. I'll stick with medicine on this one. Excuse me.
Are we enemies already? Wouldn't that be a painful waste of time? Busy my mind over hateful thoughts of you. Especially when I know how desperately you want to use this case as a front to be superintendent. Well, what do I say? You found me out. <laughs> but what you don't know, Kendra, is that I'm not trying to make superintendent. I know I will be superintendent. You know what? I'm just wondering, what makes you think is going to be your name on that medal table? But what makes you so sure it won't be mine? I'm sorry if you interrupted the conversation. Can't say I didn't hear whether or two though. You know, maybe it's just a girly suspicion, but I think that bitch is hidden on my man. However, if it was any other man but Brad, I would have something to worry about. Oh my god. He's such a good guy, isn't he? The best thing that ever happened to me. Mm. Alicia. There are certain things you don't do or say. And you coming to my house to harass me is one of them. Now you better leave now or I call the police. Candy, candy, candy. Call the police on me, Alicia? You better be back. Bitch! Cut! By any B and C, all right? This thing has been taken care of as soon as possible. We can't afford any more delays on this shoot. Did you just use the expression that thing? Fine, fine. Fetus, the the baby, whatever you want to call it, we have to take care of it now. Is this some kind of a joke? Choke? Don't you know? I thought we had something together. Yes, we do, but within the confines of professional practice. I mean, didn't you read the contract? Contract? The one you signed when you were registering with the studio. Now, what studio are we talking about here? The same one that you fucking own and run? At the end of it all, I am the director and you an actress. Actress? Is that all I am to you? Professionally, yes. Well, don't give me that professional bullshit. How professional were you when you were riding me like a horse and waking up each time in my fucking bed? Remember correctly, you landed three major roles and it didn't come in exchange for nothing. I didn't need them. I loved you and I still do. All I wanted is a life with you. Now you listen, Serena. Let's get our priorities straight and sorted out. We have a contract that's binding legally for both of us. Let's stick to it and get this film done and over. Of me terminating this pregnancy, then you can shove it down for free. I'm not doing it. It's not easy, easy. I know things are a bit overheated right now, and you're not in total control of your thoughts, so I understand. I'm trying to patronize me, Wayne. No matter what you say, don't you? I am not terminating this pregnancy. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You are at the peak of your career, and you have everything going for you, and you want to ruin it now. Now, coming from a man who constantly mourned under me in sexual pleasure, this sounds like a fucking trick. The key to succeeding in this industry is knowing when not to cross the lines, alright? And in addition to that, I know when to think with my head and when to think with my heart. 
you play that game of the sick with every one of us today, then you, I know you. You're a big. You don't have the heart. In actual fact, no man does. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, baby. She's not here. She's at the store. I know, baby. And that's why I stopped by at this time to see you. Me? Yeah, you, baby. Did, did I do anything wrong? From what I hear, baby, you've never done anything right. I know how to tiny a fuse about you, baby. I won't judge you because I understand. Yeah. I understand how hard it is for you, baby. I understand what you feel, what you want, baby. I, I, I don't know what you mean. Really? You mean after two pregnancies? You don't know how you look at a man when you want him. But it should be said, maybe you are not the only one with those feelings. Finnish girls like you, baby. <laughs> I'm a perfect fantasy. Please. Oh, get off me. <laughs> That's what I sized it, baby. This Finnish game catch me the cat. I can want to get a few of the blood. I can't wait to taste the flesh of the What do you want? What do you want from me? Everything you need. Exactly what you've been given all the others. But this time, it's going to be a bit different, baby. <laughs> I'm going to give you everything. I'm going to take good care of you. I'm gonna give you everything. A teenage girl your age, crazy baby. You know what? I can make your auntie tell you to love me. I don't want anything! I don't want anything from you! I'm coming back to help you save myself. Now, the love is here. Let's get this done. Get off me! Get off me! You better get this whole life relative of yours out of my sight this very minute or I swear I will tear all to shreds. Wow. What? I, 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 you what? I, this serpentine relative of yours caught up in the bathroom when I was taking your shower, listening to the bathtub, tossing me, luring me to sleep over. That is not true! Stay with my boy, Alan. Strangle you to death! Tell me, please, I beg you. You. Go, let me handle this. This is the last time I ever want to lay eyes on her. <laughs>
She's a dysfunctional child. More of a social misfit. But among all the things she's done, lying has never been one of her capabilities. What do you mean? You said you were taking a shower when she leaped into the bathtub, right? Yes. With your clothes on? Tony, the shower is not running. They cut the water supply last night. Look, Titania, I don't know where you are hearing of this, but what I actually meant is that I was about to take a shower when that serpentine relative of yours... That serpentine relative of mine is my daughter! Daughter? How? How could you? Look, Titania, let's not get things mixed up here. I mean, how was I supposed to know she is your daughter when you introduce her to me as a relative? And in fact, you never treat her as a daughter. Don't judge me, you fucking infidel! Do you know how difficult it has been for me to look past the fact that my father was sleeping with her and got her pregnant twice? Just like you, like the young. It tickles your fancy to see them all vulnerable and innocent. Because I told you she had had two pregnancies of water, you figured her to be more than a girl. Guess what? I am the whore. And this whore is sick and tired of your promiscuous ass. Let's take things a bit easy here. You know, the wedding is just a few weeks away, and uh, I don't think we should get. Get out! Get out. Get out! I want your throat! You believed me. understand why you have to leave so soon. I thought you were going to spend the night, so we get this sorted out. Get what sorted out? I'm sick and tired of hearing this. Don't you have anything better to say? Come on, I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry I made a fuss about you deciding to stick with her on the case, but I guess I was just being jealous. I'm sorry. Okay, fine. So what time am I seeing you tomorrow? I'll be working late. I'm working on a narcotics file. I'll pick you up at 10 tomorrow morning. lying naked in your bathtub for an hour now. Just when will you be home? Oh my, I missed my phone. Thank you. Are you okay?
Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Not in the mood for your usual interrogation. Where's uh, Frank? Frank. Yeah, the gate man here. Madam, I'm the gate man here. I don't know anybody who's Frank. Okay. I'm looking for Mr. Hanks. This house. Oh, no. Adole, don't do that. I said I will call you. Please come over that one. You are the cause of all these things. I said I will take it from the front. You said I should take it from the back. I contact me. Look, these conditions. No, I will call you. Madam. Listen, I said Mr. Hanks in this house. What's wrong with you? Yes, we used to. But Mr. Hanks no longer lives here. What do you mean he no longer stays here? I mean he just moved out. Don't forget to enlarge him. What can you do? Go out. Check it yourself, my dear. You are entering. When you are born, you go fight. Are you on camp? Look at me. Do you, you think I'm joking here? Hanks no more lives here. He better be at home. Look, don't bring your anger. I'm getting more vibration anger from this point. Please. God, you mean? What's going on? What's going on? Three condoms. One, two, three. Ah. 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 Madam. Yes, I'm sorry. I know me from you. But, um, do you know anywhere that I can do abortion? You must be out of your mind. Huh? Out. Okay. Sure, I'm sure I'm out of your mind. Everywhere, girlfriend. 
I just you know it would take you this long to figure it out. But you know, despite the fact that I feel your pain, I I can't help it but remind you of my own words. Enjoy it while it lasts, darling. Because someday, sometime, it's gonna be you with these tears in your eyes. <laughs> oh god. You know what? That line was always in the scripts. You would just didn't read that page. <laughs> And just for information, just so you could go hang yourself, I've just been nominated for this year's Best Actress of the Year. See ya. Moments when we come face to face with the truth. Moments when we need the ones we love the most beside us. At such times, we shed tears. We hold hands. But as much as we try to conceal the pain, we realize that some things can just never be. been a week and we think you've had enough of the gloom and the doom it is time to let it all out and trust me girls we have found the perfect remedy girls take a look at heaven on earth <laughs> the new holidays resort in Cape Town South Africa isn't that exclusive <laughs> all right don't be too quick to make your judgments until you hear this I ran into this very exclusive client of mine whose wedding I handled over a year ago. And when we got talking, he told me he had relocated to South Africa to establish some sort of resource and would really want me to visit. So I told him, why not? I'd love to. But the fact was that I have five very jealous friends who would turn me into stress if they couldn't come along. So he looked at me in a smile and said, why not? You can bring your friends along. <laughs> <laughs> Come on girls, how long would you continue like this? This is a perfect time to leave all the hurt behind and have a change of environment. Exactly. And where else can be better than South Africa? It's a nice idea, quite all right, but it's just not the right time. I mean, what do you expect us to do? Pretend that everything is all right? Well, everything is definitely not all right. Not after I lost $200,000 to some bastard who took my body and, and my emotions with him. Everything is definitely not all right. Everything is not all right. And maybe everything will never be. But we have to move on. Move on to fucking what, Zilla? Forgetting broad? Wayne? Thanks, Tony. They were the best thing to ever happen to us. What? You know what I think? I think we should go back to being the way we were before these men came into our lives. Uh -huh. These men who stole from you. Okay. These men who raped my daughter. Yeah. These men who broke our hearts. Yeah. These fools! These animals! These idiots! Can I get an answer? Can I get an answer? Sisters, into being single, into being happy. So why can't we as soon as we can? We packed our bags, boxes, and suitcases. Our mindset for the trip to South Africa. But just two hours to the flight, there came a phone call.
Knocking on my legs. Can't sleep. You know I've not been able to do that since you know when. Life is so unfair. I'm here losing sleep and he's with God knows who. You know what? I want to take a walk. Hasn't even planned her own wedding. Old woman, me, an old woman. <laughs> Excuse me, but as smallish as she may look, there's somebody who's actually older than this room. You're not talking to me, are you? Oh, I think she's talking to me. You don't go and get married. I was about to in my dream when you called me up. you girls, but take a six hour drive to come sit by some boring poolside staring dumbly at each other's faces. It's nothing short of sheer stupidity. Bottom line, girl, there should be something more fun we can do other than sitting around. <laughs> Game reserve. Anyone knows how to use this?
Now, forgive my ignorance, Zina, but what exactly are we hunting? Antelopes. Oh, like, is that another name for Hanks? Because hunting for Hanks is the only reason why I should have a gun in my hand. And you know, if I was hunting for that channel of the bridge, I think I'll need a bigger gun in my hand than this. Does anybody know why I can fire a grenade? <laughs> on this planet to think that I fell in love with Brad to think I was about to walk down the aisle with Tony okay girl I mean it's confession time right so here do you guys know that that bastard actually got three hundred thousand dollars from me and not two hundred thousand huh yeah I know but excuse me don't say anything not one more word about it but I mean, how can we be so silly? Where is our sense of reasoning, our sense of intelligence that we exhibit every time? Huh? 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 from the hotel. Oh, but no! That is only after he must have fucked you! 
If you don't remember anything I've said to you tonight, remember this. Let there be Yeah! You could have been a little bit considerate, you know. And you would have been a little bit more understanding. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but was I supposed to say something? Oh. All right, I'm sorry for my cynicism, but in case you girls have forgotten, I do not particularly find myself in any of the groups. I haven't found myself a man, stop less of losing one. This is not about finding a man, Zina. This is about our being there for each other. It's about upholding that bond that binds us together. We are not being jealous or envious of things. We just don't want you to go to war. We went through. Fine! Fine! I mean, not everybody here will end up having a disaster. Me, actually, be happy. Oh, yeah? We don't want you to be hurt. We don't want you to have the tears that we have in our eyes. We don't want you to be hurt. Don't you get it? And Quincy, I intend to be happy. Just like you sleeping when Mobutu made you happy. You slept with Mobutu? to know. Who are you? Shh, shh. I've been stressed. I needed to ease some tension. By sleeping in the middle. From the back. Well, if you care to know, I enjoyed it. She enjoyed it. How big was it? Yes, how big was it? The biggest thing I've ever seen. And you took it all. Finish fighting, tearing each other apart. Yolanda, that's besides the point. And what is the point? Remember how we all decided to come here and do some soul searching? One of us decided to go do some creeping around. And the person slept with. Guess who? Mobutu. Ew! so low. I mean, girls, if she wanted to have a fling, why didn't you find somebody more on our level? Did you have to descend so low? Oh, please, Mobutu, with that big thing that he hangs and, and, and oh my god, Kendra. No, she didn't really do that, that did she? Kendra! Ew! No, 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 no. This is a open 
Kamu semua butuh bajin. Madam Yolanda. Heartbroken. <laughs> yes, we can Oh, our relationship's gonna work out. And yes, don't use that to me. <gasps> was that her line again? And that was so, 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 <laughs> Change the fuss that we're sisters. It's alright for us to feel guilty and for you to stand there pointing fingers at us. But if I've learned anything in the past five days, is that we have our whole lives ahead of us. And so, if any of you thinks that there's anything to salvage of this relationship, then you can join me. I'm headed back for Accra. I haven't forgotten that we have a wedding to plan and to attend. So folks, that ends the tale. A tale of pain, hurt and sorrow, but also one of love. Give thanks unto the Lord, who blame his greatness. Tell the nations what he has done. Tell of the wonderful things he has done. Now. This is the reason why we cry at weddings. We remember how unlucky we have been with men. We remember how many times we have been dumped. We remember how it is that we might never love again. But we also remember this very day when one of our very own us and said the elusive words By the powers vested in me by God, I declare you man and wife. <laughs> Having declared you, Mr. and Mrs. Quincy, are you before God and his beloved saints? May you please kiss. Oh. And you are? Remember the guy from the auction? Remember I beat you to the bed? Oh, yeah, hi. Now that was quite a show. Don't you think? You enjoyed every bit of it. I didn't really like that you are also part of Kushta. I was really hoping you would. Um, let's just say it was a lucky day. You know,
you know, the ancient elites of Ethiopia had a very peculiar tradition. It was customary for a lady of marriageable age to grant a special audience to any man who would bow at her feet. The worst thing for any screenplay is to repeat the same lines over and over and over again. Learn to improvise, Hans. For a man of your considerable skill, you disappoint me, Hex. I mean, is this only as far as you could run? However, and to give you credit for it, you actually got me there. I swallowed yours every silly line, hook, line, and sinker. But you know what they say. Behind every perfect crime is an imperfect plan. And so, unknown to you, I own this company. And Geraldine here, whom you met at your last auction, is my stooge. And that lady behind you is my sister from another mother. It's over, Hanks. But I've got one question for you. Which is easier to steal? A woman's money? Or her heart? But I guess you'd have to brood over that in jail. But you still got my jewelry. <laughs> Well done, girl. Always at your service. <sighs> well, that ends our tale, folks. And you just might see us sometime in your future. But just so you know, there's nothing wrong with being single. Especially not if you're this sexy. 